Hey Taurus, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today and today I'm back with your Torn in Between the Two series and this is for the month of January 2021 you guys. Woo, we are coming up on these last little couple of days of 2020. So excited to be entering 21. Um, definitely feel like it's great things ahead for all of us in 2021 so mode it be all right. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by clicking that subscribe button plus that post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Now let me get into this rundown of this video. All right, guys, I created this series, The Lies They Tell and the Secrets They Keep, in order for you to gauge the energy in your immediate space of those that may carry energy of deception or secrecy towards. So people you need to be aware of, people you might have to remove from your circle in order to remove those blockages and stagnancy that this person may be causing, this person or people may be causing. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's hop straight in. <sighs> Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise channel messages for the astrological sign of Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of January 2021, Spirit. Who is coming towards the astrological sign of Taurus in the month of January, Spirit, and the energy of deception and secrecy? All right, it's time to be brave. It's in reverse, <laughs> so... Somebody is afraid of something here and they don't want to. They don't want to step into that energy of bravery. That's what I'm getting here. So this can definitely be a child of yours. Maybe you got a child that's going off to college or something. All right. The past returns for a time. All right. So maybe it's something here that requires you to be brave. Your past could be coming back here. Um, Man, it's a lot going on here, Taurus. For one, I feel like it's a lesson that's not being learned in this situation. And maybe it's because somebody here is afraid to actually approach the situation to actually close out a cycle here. Okay? Somebody's heart is definitely closed off in this situation. And it could be blocking miracles for this individual. Maybe even this unclosed cycle could be blocking miracles for both of you. I'm getting an angel of alchemy here. So you can definitely be dealing with somebody that is into alchemy that may consider themselves an alchemist, all right? But this person is afraid that their past is going to haunt them, you know? And their past could be you, you know what I'm saying? So this could be a situation where you need to actually address something with this person and either you're afraid to address it or you want to address it and this person is afraid of what needs to be addressed, all right? I'm definitely giving that this person like gives off an intimidating vibe, you know, but underneath the surface, it's like this person is all, I don't know. I don't want to say ooey and gooey, but they definitely don't have the same type of inside vibe as they do on the outside. I feel like their outside appearance or just like if this person has resting bitch face or something like that. <clears throat> um, it's because this person is using that as a defense mechanism. Whoever this person is, they are really guarding of their hearts. All right. They're very protective of their hearts. All right. I wasn't paying attention when that flew out because I'm still sitting up here. Oh, this is somebody you love or that loves you. All right. We're going to put this back though, because I didn't know or I wasn't paying attention. All right, but yeah, at the end of the day, I'm getting a lot of alchemy energy here. So release your power. Um, that's in reverse as well. What do I get of that in reverse? Mm, I feel like just, like I said, it's, it's a lesson that's not being learned here. So I feel like one or both of you is not reaching your full potential in life because it's, it's a fear here. It's a fear. It's a fear of... Whatever it takes to close out a cycle that needs to be closed out. So it keeps coming back around. All right. And I feel like it's stagnating blessings for both of you. All right. So why is the fairy of the Highland in reverse here? Why is the fairy of the Highland in reverse? 
Okay, so this is a Queen of Wands energy that you're dealing with here. That's the past. All right, whoever this person is, they feel like they know it all. They definitely condescending. I can I feel that from the side eye. All right, so whoever this is, they could be quite condescending, but um, like outwardly. But remember what I said about their defense mechanism and how this person is extremely um, protective over their heart. But it's a mask, you know, because I see like a lot more innocence when that mask comes off. All right, so this definitely can be a soulmate of yours. All right. You can, you can consider this person a friend, too. Once again, I'm getting protection with the Black Cat and the Queen of Wands um, card. All right, why is Fairy of the Highland here in reverse? It's something about this situation. This person is definitely disappointed in how things turned out. This is like an energy of no longer waiting. You know, so... This could be a situation where, like I said, some things needed to be discussed. And I feel like it's kind of karma. So no matter what the karma is, like it could be that forgiveness needs to be had here because I do feel a sense of resentment that's kind of here. And I feel like that's the reason why you guys continue to be drawn to each other because there's a need to clear up some type of either misunderstanding or illusion between you two. There's a need for things to get clear here so that disappointments can be cleared up because I feel like it's a lot of misunderstanding in this situation that's causing the tension between you two. Their lesson in this situation can be to forgive and your lesson can be to basically stand in your power, speak your truth so that you can actually close out cycles instead of leaving them open with like lacks of clarity. You know, I mean, there could be a lot of anxiety when it comes down to open up, opening up to this individual about what it is that you have to say. But I feel like karmically you're assigned to be honest to this person be honest with this person about something that needs to be discussed. I mean, and I feel like both of you guys want to just like abandon this and walk away from it, Taurus. But I also feel like at the same time, it's like spirit. It's like, no, this needs to be addressed so the door can be closed properly. Because otherwise, it's going to always be a world in reverse type of energy. Like you guys did not close out the cycle. Y'all just abandoned it. So it's going to just stay in the world in reverse, you know? So, why is the ghost of the past here? The past returns for a time. Let's get more. Alright. Whoever this is, this person really feels like you only come back around and apologize and act like you're getting ready to take a leap of faith with them to get sex. This person feels like you're very sexually fueled to her. So I don't know if you the masculine energy because I am getting the queen of wands for their energy. But whoever this is, that's why they're abandoning it. Because they feel like you keep opening up, like reopening up the cycle for your own gain. And they keep, they feel like they feel almost misled because there's an the energy of waiting here. Like at one point, this person was really waiting either for you to come back around for things to fix or, you know, for you to come back with that ace of wands and basically make the house a home again. And maybe that's where this misunderstanding is at. They feel a bit jaded by you. Here, Taurus, is what I'm kind of getting here because they feel like you kept misleading them, making them think that you guys were getting ready to take a leap of faith into a new upgraded um, cycle. And it would just end up being a night of passion. Like you would just come through, have sex with them. You know, basically, I don't want to say get your rocks off, but basically get the satisfaction that you need. And that's why I keep saying... The past returns for a time, you know, maybe for a good time, not a long time. And so that's why this person is like, I'm not fighting for this anymore. So whoever this is, they're guarded against you now. And now could be the time where you ready to open up and be as honest as possible with this person. But they kind of got this energy like, I don't want to hear that. I just don't. I don't care when it matter. You ain't want to talk about it. Now, why would I want to talk about it now? That's the energy I'm kind of getting from this. They can kind of see you as immature or you can actually be younger than them. 
All right. And I get that you just kind of keep this person just sees you as somebody that keeps on coming in, apologizing, making promises only just to get what you want and dash. That's how they see you, Taurus. So I don't know. And switch it. If it's this person towards you, if this person always comes in and apologizes, gets sex and then returns back to the same behavior, then switch it. Okay, why is Angel of Alchemy here? Yeah, justice in reverse. This person feels like they've been wronged by you just one too many times. Maybe you guys had three cycles of this, of what they feel was like being tricked by you. Angel of Alchemy, why is this here? But yeah, this is definitely a situation that they see karma in. I feel like this person is trying to look towards the future you know, um, they could have some new blessings coming in for them because I definitely see them kind of with the world in their hand. So maybe this person is thinking about relocating or something to that extent. They definitely not talking to you, Taurus. That's what it's looking like. They not talking to you. They, they looking to relocate, travel the world, you know, and this can just be traveling for fun or this could be like looking for somewhere to move out the state, out the country. But this person want to start a whole nother life and you on the outside of it. Because I'm getting the five of pentacles here, all right? This person may even want to do this alone. I ain't even going to hold you up. They can be thinking about traveling alone. But this person is coming up in the, em in the empress energy. But there's also this energy of like, they need to allow a transformation here, all right? I feel like it's a lot of stuff that they not letting go of that's holding them back. Yes, they are abundant. Yes, they are self-seeking. Like they, they try to go within and, and find themselves more. But it's kind of like this person just don't want to hear it or they don't want to see it no more. And once again, we getting that energy across in their heart. So I feel like this person just feel like, look, you know what? It doesn't matter. I already healed from it. I don't want to hear what Taurus has to say. It's all good. You know, if they was going to tell the truth, they should have told the truth when it could have fixed things. Now, what good is the truth going to do? The, the truth is going to set both of you free. That's what I'm getting here. Why is the Queen of Wands here? <clears throat> yeah, maybe you even have to tell them about a new person. Because what I'm kind of getting here is that this Queen of Wands can actually be somebody new, not your past. Your past can actually be the Empress, but this person isn't letting you go or you not letting them go. Or it's something between y'all that is not being let go of and it's causing a lack of transformation here. So the Queen of Wands can actually be somebody new for you and they could be an option that you chose. Yeah, you felt led to this individual. And I feel like that's probably what you need to tell um, you know, your ex or whatever, you know, because maybe this was a situation that you left your ex for is what I'm seeing here. This person from your past that's returning. This is probably what you afraid to tell them. Maybe you lied to them as to why you was breaking up with them, you know, and you really left them for somebody else. But maybe you just made it seem like you just want to be single and do your own thing. But really you felt divinely guided towards somebody else towards a different option. And you have received clarity on that, you know, from the most high or, you know, your higher self or whatever, Taurus. Why is the three of wands in reverse here? Yeah, I feel like you was working hard towards this connection, but it just wasn't a healthy one. Hold on. All right, why is the page of cups here? I feel like you want to, to I don't know. So here's a situation where I guess whoever this person was, they were, they started off as your friend, you know, but you saw them as somebody that you can marry and maybe you did. Maybe you left whoever you was currently with and you went off and you got married. That could be something you don't want to tell them, you know, and I don't know why it's like so important for you to tell them that, but I feel like it's a part of this lesson. I feel like this lesson is not going to be complete until honesty is shared with Whoever this is, you know, whoever the person that you're trying to leave behind is because it's looking like you married now or you could be about to get married. You could even be marrying your new person and having a child, you know, with the page of cups here. But if not, then you just marrying somebody that you considered a friend at one point. Okay, why is the nine of cups here?
I feel like the grief, I don't know. Let's see. Let's get one more on the Nine of Cups. Because it's like imprisonment. Like, I feel like both of you guys kind of feel overburdened by the way things ended. And that's the reason why it's like hard for y'all both to close out this chapter. Even if both of y'all got new lives and y'all both ready to go take off in the world. It seems like this person is kind of single, but they like stepping into their energy. So I don't feel like they ha unhappy being single. But I feel like both of you guys are having a hard time allowing this to like close out because it's a lot of grief and guilt behind this. And I feel like it's because things haven't been expressed. You know, um, truths haven't been told, you know, and it's kind of keeping both of y'all stuck in a sense. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah. This person feel like you was giving them false hope. You know, they feel like you was making them feel like you was, y'all was working on things or coming back together and like I said, you will kind of come through and get what it is that you want and then leave. So this person, they just, I don't know. Yeah. They already know that you like started something new immediately after you broke up with them. But they just, they probably don't know that you married with a child. Yeah, they probably don't know that you married. Why is the five of wands in reverse here? Or about to get married. For some of y'all, y'all just engaged or something. Or y'all have a child by this person. Yeah, this person don't want to think about it. Honestly, I feel like they completely abandoned the situation. If they do think about it, I feel like they think negatively about it. And I feel like that's the reason why they being forced to revisit it. Because this is the ending between you guys. It was meant to be the way it was. And even if it was negative or a karmic or injustice in some type of way, I feel like you guys both need to be focused on the fact that you, you guys are both headed towards much happier lives. You know, like not focused on... Oh, you know, I hate this person because blah, 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 you know, because I feel like it's holding both of y'all back. You know, I feel like both of you guys have the opportunity to be going a particular distance and that's either being stagnated or it's being delayed because of a lack of closure. Yeah, journey is in reverse here. And I feel like it's causing more karma. All right. So why is the five of pentacles here, spirit? Hmm. Message in reverse. You taking your time because you don't want to tell this person this. I feel like they don't want to hear it either. So it's mutual. Why is the hermit here? It's like you don't want to talk about it. They don't want to hear it. This person feel like they ain't got nobody. I ain't going to lie. They feel like everybody in their life turn their back on them. They just don't trust anybody. They feel like everybody is a snake or uh, just sneaky. Or that's at least how they feel about you. Maybe they felt like you was family. And now it's like they retreat from you because you come off more like an enemy to them. Yeah, this person is heading towards big time stability. They got new changes coming in too, but it's like confusion as well. It's hard for them to get to this happiness. You know, they could be like re-nurturing, re-mothering their inner child. This person can be having a new baby. They can be getting a new house. So your ex person, they moving on too. Okay, why is the death in reverse? Because it's like both of y'all moving on, but y'all can't let go of this. But that's the reason why it needs to be revisited. Because if an actual death is being put to this, then both of you guys can go the distance. Like, you talking about the distance. And like I said, I feel like this person wants to move like out the country or out the state. All right, so you need to tell your ex that, yeah, it's true. You know, I know it sucks, but I did. You know, I felt a deeper connection for somebody else. I feel like now is the time because they're healed now. You know, and I feel like having this closure will help both of you guys heal in a sense where you can fully move forward. And this won't be crossing y'all mind as much. And it might be painful or it may be an emotional conversation, but I feel like it's so necessary it's so necessary. All right, let's see what this person's intentions are towards you. And then that's your reading towards. us. 
Okay, what is this person's intentions towards Taurus? person's intentions towards Taurus. It don't seem like nothing. It seems like y'all trying to go y'all separate ways. Okay, so it's just saying that they no longer waiting, which was consistent throughout the reading. They they feel like they basically wasted a lot of their time waiting on you to come back around and marry them. They always thought that they would be the one that you would marry. But this person's intentions is to let go. They no longer want to wait. And like I said, that's been consistent in the message throughout the whole reading. All right, let's get one more for what is this person's intentions towards Taurus. I don't know how this fell out, but it was addicted. I feel like it came out in reverse, though. This could have been an addicting connection. Maybe they was addicted to you. I won't cry for you. You know, so this is this person setting themselves free from you, blinded to the pain. So, yeah, this person just don't want to hear no evil, see no evil. They feel like they've been through enough pain with you. And I feel like that's the re real reason why they just like, I don't want to talk. Like, whatever your life is, live it. Because I'm not a part of it anymore. So, why does it matter? And I feel like, again, even with them being the Empress energy, that it's like... That's how this type of attitude is holding them back from their full potential. They can even be more blessed than what they already are if they wasn't in that that attitude energy. Why is the bride in the cage in reverse here? Damn. Why is the bride in the cage in reverse here? This person can be like more focused on like career. Maybe they entrepreneur because I definitely see um, the Queen of Wands is like the creative one. Yeah, this person ain't worried about it. They got somebody new too. All right. And they getting ready to move. They could be getting ready to move. Like I said, I don't know, out the country, out the state. But they got a new relationship too. They definitely feeling good. They could have lost weight. Yeah. This person ain't worried about it anymore. But I do feel like they, it's like resentment there. It's not like they worried about it like, oh, like they'll cry, but it may re what they could be afraid of. It's like both of you guys have some fear. Your fear is like honestly admitting it to this person. This person's fear is that it's going to re-raise up like some pain that they feel like they already got over. Because like this is all saying that this person is over it. This person is becoming successful. Whatever is happening in this person's life is definitely taking their mind off of it. They definitely networking or they got some type of new love in their life. Um, I feel like what they need to be doing is forgiving. I feel like that's what spirit wants this person to do is forgive. Forgive because they hold on to resentment and it's putting restrictions on how much they love. Why is I won't cry for you? Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. They see you as somebody that's just selfish. They see you in a low light. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sorry, Taurus. But they see you as the king of pentacles in reverse. Like somebody that just bred, crowned, and played childish games. Queen of pentacles in reverse. They could know that you were somebody. They feel like you... Uh, all right. They could feel like the person you with is a better match for you because they feel like y'all both materialistic. They feel like y'all both like only think about money and and like they both they feel like y'all both are okay with like having an open relationship, you know. And so they kind of feel like they kind of accept the fact that you with somebody else because like I told you, they do know you with somebody else. They could even suspect that you have a child, but I don't. I feel like at, you know for a long time they worried about it or wondered about it. But now they stopped and they just see you as more of a match for the person that you left for. So maybe it wouldn't hurt this person as much as you think it would, Taurus, because I feel like this person got a good idea of what's going on. Even if they don't know all the facts and details, they got a good idea of what's going on. Why is the Queen of Wands here, Spirit? Mm. Yeah, they know you're not their pathway. Like, they already know. 
They know the choice has been made, they feel, for both of you. I feel like what did and what will hurt this person down, they just an empress energy, man. All they wishes are coming true, Taurus. Oh, I know you're like, I don't give a damn. Get that shit out of my face. <laughs> but all they wishes are coming true. So honestly, you will be surprised. They, I feel like the only thing that's like probably a little bit painful to this individual is like how quickly, you know, like you just... I don't know. They they it they could easily feel like you just kind of discarded them and moved on with your life so quick. But I feel like it's been a couple of years and or a couple months or something and I feel like both of y'all moved on. This person ain't married. They could have just met a soulmate. All right, but yeah, let's see. Why is the two of cups here? Yeah, see, this person, I feel like this is really holding this person back from their true maturity. It could even be causing problems in a new relationship. Let's get one more on the Two of Cups. Ooh! Yeah, so I'm definitely getting, like, if they um let go of the resentment of this, it'll definitely, like, help them heal more. And it'll also restore their love. Restore their hope when it comes to love. Because I'm getting a star card here. But I feel like their last little bit of healing needs to be forgiveness and release of the situation. Alright. Yeah. They need to be honest. I feel like it is going to be emotional. For some odd reason, I just keep getting a friend vibe. Like, I don't know how you guys think y'all going to be friends. But <laughs> I get like a friend vibe. So maybe that's kind of what one or both of you want. I don't know, man. Because it really don't seem like y'all want nothing to do with each other. All right, so why is the five of cups in reverse? Yeah, ooh. So, yeah, you just want them, like, you want forgiveness, and they need to forgive you for, like, things not working out, for this not turning into marriage. Um, I feel like y'all both can agree that y'all put in a lot of work and, like, y'all both was trying not to let it end, but it just had to end, honestly. Yeah. They could have seen themselves as loyal to you because your energy is showing up in reverse, which speaks to disloyalty. So, yeah, it's just time. And honestly speaking, I feel like you you fully not even out in the public with your new relationship all because of this. That's why you have to do it. Okay, so it's not about you owe this person an explanation or any of that tours. It's about like you not even able to publicize your new relationship, marriage, you know, announcement of your new kid or whatever, because you too afraid of your ex finding out from the Internet before they find out from you, because maybe you do see this person as a friend. Maybe you like, you know what, it, it ain't work out as lovers. But honestly, I got more respect for her or him as a friend than to allow this to leak on the internet before I tell them. So maybe that's like the last step before you can like move forward and just openly have your relationship or marriage. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, this is the person you moving towards. All right. So yeah, see courthouse here. You could be getting married or something like that but like i said this been weighing heavy on your heart it's been causing a lack of peace here all right so yeah there's definitely a need to keep it real and now i see why so that you can actually go public with your relationship without having to worry about your ex i mean can't, i can't even imagine having to explain that to my spouse like it's best we don't post pictures on the internet so my ex doesn't find out <laughs> so that would kind of be upsetting to me but yeah, so hopefully this message helps somebody. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.